Good morning, Modern Stutter. So it's been two days now since I shot myself with my nail gun. Right here, right in my pocket, boom, right there. Uh, it didn't feel good, but went to the ER. They pulled it out. If you guys didn't see that video, I'm gonna put a link to it right here. I don't have any footage from being in the ER, but we got footage of when it happened. It was a freak accident. Uh, that video explains it better in detail, but all I'm gonna say it's a freak accident. Some of it was my fault but it's an accident and just freak things happen sometimes and everything lined up perfectly for it to happen. So it's been two days since the accident. I took yesterday off from the build. We didn't take it off, take it off, but we took it off from the build. We didn't video what we did. We're working on something pretty big here in the homestead next, or on the channel, I should say. And we were working on that yesterday. It was a reprieve from building. So my leg is feeling good. I got a tetanus shot in my left arm and that hurts worse than where I got shot in the leg by the nail. I wanna see if I can find one of the nails. Right here is one of the nails that got me. It's a two inch long nail, and they have this little metal wire clips on it. And when they shoot off, they leave them so they're like barbs, and that was what's in my leg and holding it so I couldn't pull it out because when it happened, I tried pulling it out, and I won't go into detail because some of you might not wanna hear it, but the other video has that kind of stuff in it. So when you're working with power tools, be careful. Anything can happen to anybody in a split second. So I was able to get the lift for one more day. It's Sunday, I normally don't work on Sundays, but the lift is here and then it's leaving tomorrow. So we're gonna work today. We're gonna get all the high stuff done. I'm gonna get the trim board up that I was working on up and installed. We have two vents we need to put in up high and some batten strips up high that'll be nice to have done before the lift leaves. So that's the goal for the day. So like Olivia and Gina keep saying, don't shoot yourself. So I'm gonna try not to today. It's not enjoyable. I told them we need to come up with an idea to make it for a t-shirt. Like you'll shoot your leg out or something. And Gina said, viewer discretion is advised because most of the stuff you do well is kind of questionable. And I will admit some of it is, but when you got a project and you need to get it done, you always have to find a way. That's my motto. All right, this is the trim board we were working on putting up when everything happened. So. Let's get it up in place, like so. Want to make sure we're flushed up on this edge. We are. I like that. I'm just gonna go back that way and finish nailing it. We're almost done on this trim. It is such a beautiful fall day here on the homestead. All right, so I didn't nail this end first because I wanted to work it down there, make sure we were flush on that end. And then I left this loose on both sides. So this way we can get this nice and flush on both ends. Get our top piece of trim figured out here. Like so and like so. I like that right there. Let's get it marked. I like that right there.
Right there, I like it. Bam. Let's go back here. Perfect. I like it. If you're new to the series, this post and beam building is a kit that me and my wife Gina bought off the internet from jamaicacottageshops.com. I'll have links in the video description down below. And the kit comes with these nice gable end vents. So we are going to install this one on this side today. So we got the vent and then this goes like so afterwards. I'll dress that up nicely. All right, I repositioned it a little bit. I decided I wanted it centered in these two boards. We're not going with this one and we're not going with this one. These lines will all get covered up with my trim work. Plunge cutter comes in handy for finishing up cuts like this. See how it fits now. Ooh, I like it. I had to stop and put shorts on. This northern boy ain't used to this heat. It's 80 degrees out right now. I know it doesn't sound very warm to most of you, but just a few days ago, it was 28 degrees at night. We had the fire in the wood stove. We had a fire in the house and the wood stove going. Man, this weather is crazy. It's supposed to be warm like this for a few more days, and then it's supposed to get cold again and get down in the 30s at night. Uh, I don't know if there's a tropical storm that's pushing up the coast that's warming our area up or what's going on, but. I think my blood had already started to thicken up for the cooler weather, so this warm weather is making me a little steamy this afternoon. It's looking good. Let's stop putting up some batten strips and we'll get it looking really nice. Oh, to me, this is one of the fun parts. We get to put up the batten strips on the barn side. These are the plans for the building. Let's see. We keep going. Almost there. Right here. All right, so we need the 76 and then an 88. I'm gonna go right in the middle of that crack, like so. 
get me my level. Make sure everything is nice and plumb. Right there is beautiful. I'll leave it like that for now. We'll go on to our next one. Like that right there. Got a filler strip that I want to put in here. Later on, we'll have to trim it up better down here and we do our trim work, but I'd rather have this on here and have to cut it back for my trim work than not have any of this up while we have the lift here. All right, let's get our little piece put in. Out of nails, we gotta reload. Get our corner trim started. Ooh, I like it. Closes that gap up perfectly. I like that. Nice. Get up there and that trim board will be done. You like it? Good. Looking good. Now I can move on to the next side and get the other side looking like this. All the higher up batten strips are up. Our vent, we need some lower batten strips here and then the ones down low. But we can get all that later on without the lift. I think we need to get over to the other side, put our vent in up high and then we can do our higher up batten strips. That side should go a lot quicker, I think. Yeah, let's go over there. So we're not seeing any daylight other than the vent. And then over here, you can still see daylight, so we gotta take care of that. Wow. <laughs> that one's so funny. <laughs> Olivia and I are going to get some corn husks and take our pumpkins, and we're gonna decorate. Ready? Yep.
I book a medium. Um, I don't think we can put a decoration right here. Yeah, no, look at them. No. <laughs> They're getting into the Look right here. Okay, hey, looks good. We put the pumpkins right here. Mm -hmm. The chickens might get them. We're gonna cut some more corn stalks. this up here like so built this thing from the ground up out of nothing no flight, no manual speed We're driving in the dark without headlights Trying to find our way It's hard telling where we'll be in the coming days But I'll be there with you Talk telling where we'll be in the coming days I'll be there with you I'll be here with you What are you doing crazy here, don't care? I need a 92, an 84, and then is this my 76? It is. To walk around my heart to stop the bleeding. More to make of all the words that I should have said to you. And we walk into the fire and the smoke clouds, trying to find our way. It's hard telling where we'll be in the coming days. It's looking so good. I like the looks of that. I left the tails long. I'm gonna go back afterwards and trim those all up nice and straight. I don't know if I wanna leave them flush with the bottom of the siding or if I wanna drop it down like an inch. Cause we have, this is the shortest one. So I can leave it a little bit longer. So that way when the rain comes down, it would drip off instead of like falling right on the other one. I don't know, I'll have to think about that. Let me know what your thoughts are on that. Should we leave it 
a little long or should we cut them flush? Man, is it looking good. My leg's still feeling good. <laughs> I'm glad we got all the high stuff done. The lift can go back now. The only high stuff we have to do are these doorways and that's like 10 feet so we can do that from the stage in a ladder, not too bad. Are you chickens letting me know it's feeding time? All right, we'll be back down in a minute. How many eggs do you think today? Nine. I'll say ten. ten. How many eggs do you think we'll find today? Leave it in the comments below. Okay. I know the goats aren't out. One, two, four, six, eight. How many did you say? I said nine. Nine, nine one, one off. off. Now we gotta go see how many eggs your chickens laid. I'm gonna yeah. say six. I know, I was just gonna say six. They laid six eggs yesterday. I'm gonna say like five or six. No, you can't say five or six. You gotta say five. I'm gonna say six. Six, okay. Nora. Yeah, look at Nora. Well, I took up all the room. Aw, is your mama taking up the whole bench on you, Nora? You ladies are silly. See, I only needed the rest of my front legs. My back legs weren't tired. What are you doing, Hope? Uh, hi, Nessa. Nora. I mean, Ivy. Are you ladies hungry? Huh? Are you hungry? You're always hungry. That's a silly question to ask, isn't it? You gonna let me put it in your bucket? Yeah, I didn't think so. Figaro, you searching for mice or chipmunks? You ladies ready to eat? Little man, I think the chickens probably laid us some eggs in here. Oh yeah, we got five, two, four, six. I'll take that. And then there's a new layer starting to lay, and she's laying, and she's laying behind this door. We were both wrong. We were? Yep. How many? Seven. Seven? Holy you have, cow. I know, you got a new one starting to lay eggs. Yes, so. So now you got seven. See the little tiny blue one towards the oh, edge? Yeah, this one? Yep. <laughs> it's so small. It is. Matches your shirt. Yeah, it does. She is out mulching her strawberry, uh, her blueberry patch. That's all that apple wood chips that I had chipped up this early, early spring. Honey, what you doing to me, my love? Honey, what you doing to me? Come on and make yourself at home. With your sweet dark eyes Honey, what you doing to me? Come on and make yourself at home Honey, what you doing to me?
Tell me about your troubles and I'll tell you about mine. Honey, I've got time. Honey, I've got time. Tell me about your worries and I'll tell you about mine. Well, sorry there's no dinner in today's video, but sitting in the ER for a few hours takes it out of here a little bit. So tonight we just had some leftovers heated up. Nothing worse to share. Nothing worth sharing on video. I'm doing well. The leg is feeling good. I am glad we were able to get the lift for one more day and get all the high stuff buttoned up. That was a huge blessing. Thanks for coming along on our journey with us, guys. You are a huge blessing. To us in our homestead and we really mean that we appreciate you guys taking all of your time watching our videos following us along in our journey and leaving encouraging comments so thank you for all of that we'll see you right back here in the next video if you guys aren't already subscribed now's a great time to do that turn on notifications while you're hitting that bell button and we'll see you right back here